how has NIL changed recruiting? Um, man, it, it has gone from being kind of a whispered about, talked about conversation to literally an everyday conversation with pretty much every recruit in their family, to some degree. Um, is it available? Are there opportunities for my son or myself? Uh, is there a collective that is created at Utah State? And those are only going to become more and more. It is it is about recruiting players from both high school and junior college and transfer players to come to us, but it's also it become a conversation and retention of recruiting our players to stay. So what resources are we providing for our athletes in the space of that IO? I think it's a great question to ask because people are going to give money you want to know that they're going to manage things probably the right way. So I think we've done a really good job. There's a class that we've actually established here at the university that, that guys can take, athletes can take, that talks about NIL, how to manage your brand, how to manage your money, what it's going to mean in terms of taxes and, and agents and paying people in those areas, but also uh, guest speakers coming in, seminars through what we call our aching project, which is, which is all about life outside of football, life outside of basketball, life off the court and off the field. Always trying to just build their, their uh, knowledge base of the world outside of this kind of shell that we're in, in terms of football and weights and classroom, you know, now you're stepping into the business world. How can fans help our athletes in the in the in our space? Is a great question. They can they can partner. They partner with our or their athletes. Partner with the collective. There's an operational NIL collective in place here in the valley for Utah State athletes. Uh, Light and Blue Collective is in place and operational. The information is on our website at, at Utah State. Um, athletics, they can find that. They can go through Open Doors, which is where every one of our athletes have an individual platform. They can, they can partner with them directly and independently, or they can partner with the collective. And whether you're a business owner or just an individual fan that loves Utah State Athletics and wants to help, you can give in, in either one of those areas or both. Uh, the money goes directly to the players. There are benefits, marketing, advertising, autograph, um, you know, interactive opportunities that are, that come from giving. It's not just give and set back. You're able to you're able to interact with these athletes and utilize their platforms for advertising and marketing. And in turn, they're able to be paid for their time and their name and their image and likeness.